Start running out. Okay. What's going on here? Start recording. Oh, <laughs> am I live right now? I didn't even know that. Hold on a second here. Okay. So I am just uh, saying hello to everybody. Hold on a second here, guys. I, I didn't even realize I'd started streaming already. <laughs> um, this is not going to be a long one. I uh, did a quick, uh, a quick stream a couple days ago. And um, just want to let you know that I'm gonna, probably going to do more regular streaming. And um, a little more organized as well. I want to involve some of my uh, wolf pack members actually uh, they may not even realize that yet <laughs> but I want them to participate and um, I'm gonna see how and, uh, hold on here. I'm gonna see how I can um, do a duo a dual broadcast so I'll have one of you on the screen with me um, I'm hoping uh, that y you'll uh, will have a, an idea before we set up and uh, do a sort of broadcast where we're gonna have a little bit of a theme and uh, share some updates. Um, as you know, my channel, I haven't really done updates or anything like that. Uh, um, you know, uh, news, information like that. But I want to expand the channel and do a lot more interviewing, a lot more, um, uh, yeah, live, live interviews with people, stuff like that. So just so you know that that's coming down the tube. I recently uh, passed 31,000 subscribers. So this channel has been growing very slowly, very organically and um, there's no way up but up. So obviously I'm starting to think more about, oh, okay, so what else can we do? How, how else can we expand this channel, make it um, a hub, a little center for everyone? I'm sorry, I'm shaking the camera a lot. I shouldn't do that. Hold on a second here. But anyways, I'm just keeping this casual. Let's see who we got here. Uh, we've got uh, Pablo FC. Hi, how are you doing? And we've got the artist formerly known as Jesse Say What? Happy Sunday to you too. And David Simpson, good evening from Scotland. Scotland! Right on. Um, with a little uh, stein of beer there. Have a cold one for me there, why don't you? How's the weather there? Is it getting pretty hot? You getting hotter weather than usual? Um, so, yeah, anyone who's there, say hi. Uh, there's a chat, live chat box there. Make a little message. You can chat publicly, as they say, and say hello to me. I'm going to say something right now. Hello. Hello. And uh, just uh, how's life for everyone going? How are you all doing? Um, is uh, life going okay? Uh, I can understand that uh, this is a challenging time for many, and especially over there in Europe. Um, geography has protected me to some degree from what's happening in Europe. I'm on the west coast of Canada, so um, uh, I'm on Vancouver Island actually. So <laughs> literally as far, almost as far west as you possibly can get within Canada, and of course over way over east. I've got relatives in uh, in Germany, Freiburg. Uh, I have some family. Have family in London. So, you know, I know you guys are being affected more by all these uh, th crazy things going on right now. So I wish you uh, well and, and keep wise and keep safe right now. Um, so what else can I say? Like I say, this was just a spontaneous thing. Feel free to say hi if you have any questions for me. I'll answer any questions. And uh, where is Sharky? Oh, Sharky's... Sharky is holding up my laptop right now. It says here, <laughs> Dean Wolf and Sharky. Uh, I also have the Prague dog and my son's gigantic um, dog, uh, stuffed dog is huge. It's massive. It's as big as a full, full golden child, I guess. And usually I have him with me and he's been very protective and wants his dog and uh, as soon as he's ready to let go, I want to bring the prog dog back because I think he's a great companion to the channel. Uh, Sharky's great too. Uh, I think the pair of them make a good pair, Sharky and the prog dog. 
So, um, yeah, what, what kind of, uh, let's see, what else should I ask you guys while I'm here? Okay, live chat. Uh, okay, it's pretty quiet there. This is very spontaneous, like I say. It's, um, when's a good time, do you think, if I did a regular uh, live chat? Like, I know uh, one guy I like, a guitar player, he's usually live every Sunday night. So, that could possibly happen with me uh, Sunday evenings, but uh, I sometimes have, I quite often do family stuff Sunday evening so that may not actually work out it might work if it was later in the evening but um, being in the West Coast when I broadcast it's always typically a lot earlier for everybody else is it earlier no it's later it's later I'm earlier uh, I'm earlier <laughs> so good afternoon uh, Mario Mario Gomez hi Mario how you doing from the US yes I'm uh, actually, I can literally uh, walk five minutes and look out and see the United States across the, uh, what's it called, the Juan de Fuca Strait. And I can see the Olympic Mountains on uh, regular clear days. Some days it's foggy, Not depends on the time. So I can see the United States literally. It's kind of fun to be able to look out and see the United States. Um, we share our borders, of course, Canada and the United States. So, yeah. So we got only two folks here. That's fine. Uh, I was hoping to catch some of my regular uh, uh, channel watchers. So um, that's why I'm sort of spontaneously appearing here and there. Just so you guys get used to the idea that Dean is not just pre-recorded. Um, you know, I do daily uploads. And I uh, hope you guys like that uh, daily content. And uh, but like I say, I want to expand and do a lot more different things. Um, and always open to your suggestions. And the guitar is the, the guitar and music is and progressive music, especially, is sort of the center of the universe for me. Guitar is everything. Music, songwriting, is everything. Progressive rock, especially. I really love progressive music, experimental music. So, uh, but I always do welcome uh, any suggestions you have, you know, and, and requests for, rec for reacts. And so we got uh, Fizgon Autista. Hope I got that right. Hello, Dean. Uh, Desda Rosario, Argentina. Hola, hola. That's great, Argentina. And uh, Brian Walsh, watching from Ireland. Great. Right on. So. What's new with you guys? How's life? How is life on y in your area of the woods? How is life? Oh, okay. Brian Walsh mentions the new Porcupine Tree album is out. That's right. I am a growing Stephen Wilson fan, as you know. Um, Porcupine Tree is still rather new territory for me. Shame to say. Um, even though I've become aware you see just a quick window in my life is uh, when I'm reacting to a song and then I do uh, the editing and the uploading and that takes a big chunk of my day right there so it's not like I can just uh, go and stream a porcupine tree album anytime and I don't want to do that actually I want to uh, slowly uh, systematically uh, in orderly fashion uh, react to a lot of progressive music that I missed for 30 years I didn't pay attention to it so it's been two years now I've been doing that and I barely scratched the surface so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep doing this uh, reacting to progressive rock probably forever but uh, as the channel grows uh, the react uh, the react part of the channel may uh, may um, continue I think but there's a lot of other things I want to do as well for this channel and uh, always open to suggestions from you guys on what kind of things I can do. I really love Parky Pantry. Okay, uh, Dean Patricio Ray reacts interesting rock band. What Patricio Ray? Is that is that in a that's the band's name? So that's cool that uh, Parky Pantry has got a new album out. I reacted to did I react? I think yeah, I, I reacted to that first single. Pretty sure I did. 
uh, I'll probably react to more. Another thing I want to do is do more album reviews. So, um, so I will actually uh, ingest audibly an album for a few days or a week, uh, or even a month or whatever, and uh, if it's relatively new, and then put a video out about uh, my review of that album. So that's going to come on down the line too, a little more of that kind of thing. So Patricio Ray reacts, interesting rock band. Tell me more about Patricio Ray, Figzon, Fizgon, sorry. Uh, Brian Walsh was wondering if you ever react to a song and really like it, then listen to the band on your own time. Um, uh, yes, but it, like I say, it's very slow. Like I have a growing record collection, for example, and there's uh, and CDs as well. Uh, I'll, uh, let's say, for example, um, I bought a CD by uh, Van de Graaff Generator. And uh, I've had it now probably for a year, and I haven't even gotten to it yet. I wanted to react to it before I listen to it, and uh, or else I'll just listen to it in my own time and then do a review. So, but all of this takes time, and um, this channel I don't I don't have full time hours to dedicate to this channel yet. That may happen. It may happen. Ideally, I would say um, I would like to get faster to a lot of music that I haven't gotten to. So. Uh, I would say too that uh, some of the music, like new bands, when I learn out about a band, I try not to re listen to anything. I don't want to spoil it. I'll do a react, like Love Bites or you know Bandmade, all these Japanese bands. Uh, I started reacting. I like to do at least three reacts from a band before I'll go and tackle it on my own and just listen to it on my own. Um. Okay. Song Ella Bella. Okay, so Fizgon, you got some requests there for me. Okay, thanks. Thanks for the requests. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, oh, you got like this. Uh, you know, records, or do you s do your streaming, or are you YouTubing, down 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 streaming? Uh, what else is there? Spotify stuff like that, uh, CDs, cassettes, tapes. How are you, how are you consuming your music? All right, uh, Prague per. Hey, how are you doing, uh, Youngman? French Prague brand Lazuli. Yep, yeah, is a marvelous even as has a unique home constructed instrument to compensate for one of the members losing movabi movability for one of his hands. I've actually reacted to two or three of their songs. And uh, Lazuli, yeah, I think they're great. They're still still a current band too. I think they're still touring. It's always uh, great to be uh, reacting to bands that are still on stage, still performing. Um, they're certainly one of them. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and that stick. I thought he was playing a stick, you know, like the stick, like a little Tony Levin type stick. But it turns out, of course, that that's something completely unique. And because the guy uh, can't really play strings, so it's actually a a flat keyboard, or a flat fretboard, sorry. So that's a very interesting instrument. It sounds really great. I'm glad technology uh, en enables him to continue to participate with the band, even though he's got this new disability he has. That's that's uh, great, great. Oh, so Progper, are you are you in France yourself, Progper? Progper, youngman. I'm going to guess maybe you're in France, are you? So um, this is cool about this channel, how it's really expanded across the world. Um, I have playlists for every country. Uh, I actually, I, I kind of neglected the UK and I've ne neglected the United States because they seem so obvious to me. I always have a, a playlist for Japan, a playlist for Norway, a, play, a playlist for um, France, um, a playlist for uh, the Netherlands or, or uh, Holland, you know. Um, so as I put these playlists together, I'm becoming more knowledgeable. So I've come from being completely ignorant of all modern progressive rock since the 90s to now I'm starting to grow a knowledge and a reaction base uh, from all these different countries. It's great. And of course, I'm working on Latin America right now. Argentina has some amazing music. Uh, 
Oh, you're in Sweden. All right. Uh, let me think. I haven't been to Sweden. I've been to Switzerland. I've passed through Switzerland. Uh, I was in Lugano, actually, in Switzerland. Uh, I went there in a tour, a day tour, to an amazing, um, amazing museum. And uh, <laughs> it's funny, in Lugano, Switzerland, one of the first things I noticed was how many expensive sports cars there were on the streets. They were as common as Teslas. I'm talking like uh, 200, 300, 500 thousand dollar cars just all over the place. So Lugano, Switzerland is, uh, I think, I think Phil Collins actually had a house there. Um, some other rock stars as well, some other very famous people. So it's a town for the wealthy. Uh, Try Vulcan from Sweden. Okay, one of my absolute favorite bands. Well, I should. I haven't. I haven't heard them. Vulcan, awesome. Thanks, uh, Progper. We'll get to that. So um, it's great how um, progressive metal in the uh, Norway, Iceland area um, has really taken off. I mean, every country sort of seems to have its um, talents, and uh, of course, the UK is phenomenal it's it's the origins of progressive rock which i love so much but then you've got uh the progressive metal that's all coming out of the uh that uh east uh western europe well, i don't know what you call that the north the northwestern europe uh norway and all those countries there they have a real talent for that we've got some great stuff in canada as well some great progressive rock i want to feature a little more of that um so sweden ah Nothing's pop coming to mind. I'll have to check. I might even have a s playlist for Sweden already. Brian Walsh, how you doing? Must be great to be experiencing new music. I love finding new bands for the first time. Yeah, that's what this is all about. And um, that's really fun. It is great finding new music. And it's absolutely crazy how much new music there is. I mean, uh, the mainstream is a desert. Um, it's absolutely a desert. It's, it's, it's hardly anything at all of interest or that's interesting to me on the mainstream uh, whereas back in the back in the day I'd say the last century up to the 90s the mainstream always had some great music always had some great music and uh, as well as plenty of garbage I mean that's never changed there's always been lots of garbage in the mainstream top 40 and all that stuff uh, because it's driven by commerce it's driven by business right so there's always going to be that garbage but nowadays it's like what what on the mainstream is of any interest to me i don't know i don't even pay attention anymore but uh, there's an amazing scene that, uh, independently there's tons of great music hey jen uh hi i'm alive just wanted to say what's up jen i'm glad you're alive i knew you were alive i i, I think if if you left this planet i'm pretty sure i would sit up straight and notice that Jen left. Jen is gone. I'd be very sad. <laughs> but I know you're still around. That's okay. You're laying low, maybe. Aki H. Hello, Aki. I'm going to work in 20 minutes and we'll join you in a few minutes. For a few minutes. Oh, that's nice. Thanks for joining me. Um, yeah, you're going to work? Okay, good. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, another band from Finland, Progpern mentioned. Von Herzen Brothers from Finland. No, I have definitely not heard of them. I'll make a note about that. Finland is a band that I should be, or Finland is a country I should be interested in because uh, um, I have some family connections to Finland on my dad's side, also to Russia. Russia, Finland. My mother's side is Germany, mostly. So I've got strong European connections. That's why I feel a real affinity when I go to Europe. I real a strong affinity with the Euro European people. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'd give you a jolt on the way out, says Jen. Wink. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, Jen, Jen. Uh, I really uh, we haven't talked yet, but I'm hoping to get that idea across with you uh, when we're going to feature some Chinese progressive, probably metal, progressive metal, um, or could be experimental stuff. So uh, Jen's uh, knowledgeable about this kind of thing and I want to draw on her expertise and feature some of this stuff and perhaps have some broadcasts with her together. Uh, Wheel. Ah, yes, that's one band I have reacted to, Wheel. And I want to react to a lot more. They, they had uh, one album come out and then they had another new one out too. 
So I think the because of the recent um, pandemic, I think a lot of songwriters and musicians were able to focus on some songwriting, and there's a lot of material coming out now post-pandemic, and uh, so we're catching up with that, Inc including me, actually. I wasn't doing much writing during the pandemic, um, but I've started doing a lot of songwriting, and I'm going to be... I, I am working on an album right now, and I've got a drummer involved, and um, that's slowly coming together. Okay. So, anyways, I should get moving. I've been on here here for... How long have I been on here? I can't tell. Must be 20 minutes or so. Oh, Jennifer. Jennifer, my wrist, wrist therapy, physical therapy is done, so typing is getting easier. I'll be around. More coming up. Okay, yeah, Jen had some issues uh, with her uh, wrist or something like that. And uh, can you imagine being without using your hand? I mean, because uh, we type all the time, or you're on computers all the time, using mouse. Um, it would be uh, quite challenging to not have your access to your hands. So I'm glad your hands and your wrists are getting better. Your, your bones are getting back to normal. That's good to hear. Hope your mom's great, too. Oh, Sebastian Luna, new visitor. Hi, I've been enjoying your Saru Giron reacts. I hope more. Yeah, you know, Saru Giron, uh, let me think, did I post it yet? I just did one today, didn't I? And uh, amazing. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do a lot more uh, of Saru Giron. I, wa I was thinking of doing a whole album, actually, not Saru Giron, but there's another band, too, that, um, uh, oh, what's his name? That guy who's involved in a lot of the prog work. Um... I forget it. Anyways, um, there's a whole album I'd like to react to. I did a little needle needle drop, basically. That's what I do. I'd listen to five seconds here, five seconds there, make sure it's engaging, make sure it's something that I want to react to, and I think I'm going to like it or not. And I definitely liked it. So, lots more of that coming. <laughs> Jen, you had a hard time washing your hair. It's funny. Uh, and it's not funny. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, but you had some help. That's good. Gabriel Meckler, hi. Hi to you, too. And yeah, that's it. Uh, Sebastian Luna says, La Maquina de Hacer pa Payaros. That is the album or the band. That's the name of the band, right? They have an album cover. I can just easily imagine it in my mind, sort of like looking in a shopping mall, and there's a guy standing in front of the shopping mall all the glass windows. That was the album I want to react to, the whole thing. I'll probably post that on a Sunday react, you know, 70s Prague Sunday. Thanks thanks for reminding me, Sebastian. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, also, there's there's a big contingent on my channel, uh, which has... Uh, I've gotten lots of reacts, or, or a lot of reactions from my videos for this Indonesian guitar player and he does acoustic solo fingerstyle guitar which is something that I did myself back uh, 20 years ago I was really into fingerstyle guitar and um, as a songwriter as someone who loves progressive music I actually think that um, to me there is a small connection between that kind of music so that's why I feature that in the channel it's also a, all about musicianship um, and mastering your instrument which I believe that progressive music is a huge a, a, a huge portion of what progressive music about is being good at your instrument and being a master of your instrument being skilled um, that's so important so good musicianship something I value greatly and uh, Gabriel Meckler uh, okay I don't I can't translate that here on my chat unfortunately Maybe I can translate translate that after I upload this. Um, so anyways, when I upload this, uh, it may take a while, but eventually translations come up because I know there are some people who don't speak English who watch the channel, and thank you for watching the channel. And I always put uh, translations on all of my videos. It actually takes a few... Uh, it takes a small effort to do. You, YouTube automatically translates things into English and usually makes uh, hilarious mistakes uh, or confusing mistakes as well. So that's why I go over the English 
uh, make sure it's all correct and then I have to click on all the different languages I wanted to translate it to and click this click that so it's a bit of it's a, it's a bit laborious for clicking but I've gotten it down so I can do pretty fast and I think it's worth the effort I think I think I want my channel to reach people who can't even speak English I think that's worth the effort hope you hope you guys appreciate that Jennifer I love Al Demiola John McLaughlin on Fingerstyle yes absolutely fantastic Al Demiola is still very active I love the whole jazz element as well and the Latin element um, big fan of the Mars Volta reacts onion as mittens onions as mittens thank you onions I'm going to be reacting to La Tourniquet not La Tourniquet Tourniquet is it just Tourniquet the last album they react uh, released 10 years ago or so I'll be reacting to that soon uh, check Ichika Nito he is a great fingerstyle guitarist he's very popular on YouTube these days he's released uh, videos with Marcin oh yeah I've done some reactions to Marcin also Tim Henson of Polyphia and again I'm getting used to now hearing Polyphia I didn't I never heard of them before and I've reacted to a few of their videos very interesting music they're putting out it's so textural so technical uh, and it's really amazing how it is appealing to so many people I think that kind of music is catching the ear of a lot of people and bringing them into the the math rock or the experimental rock or the even progressive rock which they really are in a way uh, Ven Cayendo Los Sargentos okay uh, I recently found that Carmen band that you have in the wall behind you my father used to listen to in the 70s yeah Carmen this was uh, I think it was Will F one of my Oops, what is this? This is backwards, yeah. Yeah, oh, I was gifted that. Actually, you know what? This is interesting. This album here was gifted to me. I'm pretty sure it's Will F. If I got that wrong, correct me. I'm pretty sure it was Will. And uh, I had no LPs. I sold off all of my LPs in a garage sale, you know, 25 years ago. All gone, you know, just, just did CDs after a while and then streaming or whatever. And then he sent me this album, and then that was the beginning. I said, "Well, I guess I gotta get a record player. Well, I guess I gotta get a receiver. I gotta get a now. I'm gonna get a tape deck. Now I need a multi CD drive. So this album kind of started it. And how dare you do that? <laughs> I definitely spent some money. I've got about. I'm on Discogs. I'm. If you look up my name, Dean Wolf on Discogs, you'll see exactly what's in my record collection and CD collection and cassette collection, because I've got. Oh, I don't know. I must have 70 albums now, and uh, and some of them are gifts. I've, I've received, a, oh, probably about five of the albums. I got a Talk Talk album. I got a Stephen Wilson album. Some uh, generous people on YouTube sent them to me, and that's a, and, and Jen as well. She sent me a, uh, for Christmas, I got uh, a Tool. That was really great. It's a double album, picture disc, great stuff. Um... Uh, the Carmen album and Swan CDs were the first gifts you got too. That's true. Uh, I got a um, the Swans. That was a was it a double? I think it was a double. Maybe even triple. Anyways, it was a really long album. I did whole react. Almost actually, I ended up not finishing it. I think there was one or two songs that I didn't finish. That's that's a shame, but that's just just the way it happened. Very good pronunciation. Oh, okay, thanks. Thank you, Fizgon. Uh, hi from Chile. Hey, hello, Ch Chile. I, uh, I'm sure, I'm sh do you say Chile or Chile? I, my old school way of always was Chile, Chile. When I grew up, I always thought it was Chile. 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 And then uh, I started hearing a lot of people say Chile, so I kind of say Chile. Hopefully that's correct. I like Chile. Um... <laughs> oh, we're up to nine people now. Hello, nine people. How are you nine people doing? Again, this is just a spontaneous um, a spontaneous uh, live stream. And uh, just to, to let you know that I'm alive and not just recording videos and disappearing into the woodwork, I want you, know, I want you to know that I'm uh, here for you guys, here to chat and, and hear what your stories are in the world and how you're enjoying music. This channel is all about music, of course. Uh, if you're going to re 
reduce it to its very, very basic element, my channel is about music, uh, regardless of what instrument, and uh, I guess regardless of what musical style, really. Uh, but uh, I def uh, I'm definitely more prog leaning now. After 30 years of not doing prog or listening to prog, I'm so excited to find there's so much progressive music out there. Uh, good, good, good. Edjern Romanini Laka, how are you doing? Double thumbs up to you too. Uh, so does Stereo Album. Danny Dedito. Yeah, so does Stereo are cool. Um, part of my musical journey was uh, The Police. Huge, huge influence for me. And here I discover that uh, this band may have even predated, well, maybe not. The Police were in the 70s. And they were probably around the same time as uh, Davidos. Div what are they called again? Uh, Dividitos, you know? Uh... What was the other band that I've been reacting to? Uh, Soda Stereo, of course, yeah. So I really like Soda Stereo. Their music is, uh, the stuff I've reacted to is very 80s. It reminds me a lot of the police. And uh, coming from a progressive rock, you know, background, that's where I kind of that's that's really where my enthusiasm was for music. Uh, I thought that I thought that anything that kind of reminded me of progressive rock or sort of could have been progressive rock, I just was magnified to or magnetically attracted to. You know what? It's interesting. The Police, when they were doing one of their albums, I, I read a little bio. I read an album actually written by the guitarist. Not an album. I read a book written by the guitarist Andy Summers, and he was joking about one of the albums. They were saying, it sounds like a prog rock album, and they were kind of like, they didn't want to do that, you know, they were afraid to go there. But, you know, I find it's interesting how some bands who don't really say, oh yeah, we're prog rock, yet they kind of uh, appreciate progressive rock and they incorporate it into their music. And the police were actually uh, conscious of that comparison. They were, Andy Summers was talking about it. He used to be in a progressive band in the 70s, uh, which moved on he kind of left the band and they kept going on i think they were called oh anyone help me andy summers from the police he was in this prog band in the 70s anyways Stuart copeland's equalizer and other cliffhangers killer album no i love uh Stuart copeland amazing drummer uh jennifer's waving she's probably taken off or she's saying hi to aki h there's some conversations going on between people that's great so I think Soda Stereo singer Gustavo was offered to join the police at one point. I wouldn't be surprised. I know that uh, Andy Summers performed uh, on on a Soda Stereo album, didn't he? He he performed with Soda Stereo, and he mentioned uh, how the drummer had a reputation of being really good. And I mean, he came from the police, and he had one of the world's best drummers already. So uh, here he was playing with Soda Stereo, who it turns out their drummer is fantastic another great musician and it's a shame they hadn't they hadn't uh they if they'd done some english version they could have done an english version of their album maybe and then promoted themselves more and toured a little more in the united states they may have become uh quite popular in the states gabriel meckler for me to be kind by swans is one of their best and the best of that trilogy you listened to the glowing man yes it was the glowing man that's right yeah yes Yeah, so what other good new music out there are you listening to, guys? Uh, Dream Theater had that new album out a little while back, and uh, I reacted to one of the songs in there. Dream Theater is a mixed bag when I react to it. Uh, they block a lot of their videos. Like, I can't, I can't upload... Even some of their just straight music, they'll block it in lots of countries. Uh, so they're a little bit difficult for reactors. Um, that's why I'm hesitant sometimes when, when I deal with the... Dream Theater Band. There's other bands that apparently are notorious for being difficult with reactors as well. Uh, all you have to do is watch Rick Beato and you'll get a quick sense of the challenges for reactors or people who are trying to 
uh, have videos about music on on YouTube and they get blocked and stuff like that so have to work around that somehow So uh, I haven't bought any albums in, in, in oh weeks. I think I stopped myself because I realized I have some albums I've purchased. Uh, for example, oh, what was that band's name? Darn it. Um, There's a Canadian metal progressive band. And I bought one of their albums and I barely put it on. Uh, it's just, uh, just a matter of having the time and stuff to put it on. So... I thought, well, what's the point? I keep sp I, I've been spending some money on these albums, and I don't even listen to them yet. Maybe I should stop buying albums, and and make sure I've listened to everything I have at least once before I stop buy before I stop start buying new albums. So that's where I'm at as far as purchasing uh, vinyl. I'm I'm on on hold. I'm just uh, holding the line right now because I want to actually listen to it. I haven't had my record player on in a couple weeks. I've been uh, dubbing, actually, since I got some tape decks. I've been recording, uh, for example, Stephen Wilson's double albums onto cassette. And I bought a retro old cassette player, like it's from the 80s or 90s. Still works great. And I listen to tapes um, around the house. So that's sort of how I'm consuming music. Oh, Leprous. Yeah, Jen's mentioning Leprous, a new one. Get Aphelion by Leprous. Is that their latest? And then, uh, do you like alternative rock? Oh, absolutely, I do. Uh, Adern Romanini. Um, oh, I'm getting a call. I'll decline the call and I'll call them right back. I'll probably have to end this uh, little session very, very soon. Uh, so, yes, I love al alternative rock. Um, like I say, it started off, progressive rock was everything for me. That was my world. And then it seemed like that it all kind of ended in the late 80s. It felt like progressive rock was dying. And so alternative rock was where I went. U2, The Police. Uh, and then uh, Pat Metheny, I was really getting into that. You know, fusion jazz, because that was quite alive in the 80s. Actually, it was a great decade for fusion jazz, which is kind of progressive music, you know, uh, leaning into jazz, that's what it is, basically. And uh, so alternative rock, I listened to a lot of grunge, you know, I enjoyed a lot of uh, the 90s were great, that, the 90s was the last great decade for music that was in the mainstream and was actually good. Uh, oh, and I need to get back to monthly Patreon requests. I'm really backed up. Oh yeah, you haven't given me any requests in a while. That's fine. You just, just, uh, just uh, give me your list, uh, Jen. I'll get your request done. Uh, so Edward, no, Ed. So Ed, let me get this right. Edern Romanini Laka. I love alternative rock. What about you? What's your favorite alternative rock? And then, Jennifer, you said the wheel is great. Yeah, Progper, she's agreeing with you there. Uh, some good wheel. I think Jen was actually... Weren't you the one, Jen, who was... Ref you were suggesting I react to a whole album of wheel? Okay. So I better get to back to... i got to make a phone call. Um, I got a call, and I sort of declined it because I was in the middle of this podcast here, or whatever you're going to call this, this live stream. So I better get back to that. Um, thanks for joining me for this. Uh, just keep an eye out for me. I think for the next little while, I'll just keep doing this a little spontaneously, coming online and saying hi and getting a chance to chat with you guys. So look forward to more of these. You can expect more. And um, we'll talk to you later, eh? We'll, we'll see you later. And I'll, I'll say goodbye for now. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate you all. And uh, what was my little catchphrase? Um, dare to listen? No. What was it? Jen, Jen you remember. Remember, I, it was actually, it came out of the whole um, Swans React, where I just kind of realized music is, is uh, you have to be daring to listen to some music. It takes courage to listen to some music, especially music that challenges you. So keep keep that spirit alive. Okay.
Talk to you later. Bye now. And I'll have to leave this chat. Thanks again for all of your comments.